Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Breaking Bites. This is the series where I write a custom and usually completely ridiculous mod each and every episode just so that you and I can share a laugh. And today, guys, as you can see, we are going to be playing with arrows. What I did is I made a handful, maybe ten or so, I don't know, a bunch of mods with arrows and customized them in ways that I thought would be pretty silly, pretty ridiculous, but hopefully a little bit entertaining. So I'm going to spin through those now and let me know what you guys think. Hope you like them. All right, for the first arrow mod here, what I did is I went ahead and just simply turned off the gravity on the arrow. So these things fire like a laser beam now. Pretty much can't miss. Well, unless you're me, of course, and you're a bad shot. But pretty much aim and what, where you fire is what you get. Makes for makes for some fun shooting, that's for sure, but almost almost a little bit too cheaty, as are all the arrows in this episode. You'll also see I turned on a little bit of firework particles here for all the arrows in this episode, just so you can get an idea where they're going. It's going to help show off some of the effects a little bit better. But there you have it. Anti-gravity firing like a laser gun. For this next mod, we are down here at Y equals 11. Everybody's favorite strip mining height, but let's face it. Nobody likes to strip mine, so I figure why not why not invent an arrow that does it for us? This little guy is gonna fly forever and take out everything in his path. As long as you shoot it straight, it'll work just great. Let me take out a couple blocks below here and let him fly. There we go. And we can go ahead and chase it and see what we did. Out of the lava. Keep on going. This thing will go forever. Oh, it's slowing down. <laughs> well, I guess it's got some bugs to it. <laughs> Maybe next version I'll iron those kinks out. But anyway, there you have it. Arrow of mining. This thing is fun. Love it. Alright, this next one is not so much an arrow mod, but a bow mod, I guess you could say. I've got some punch two on this bow, and I, I, cr I cranked it up just a little bit. And I think this guy wants to volunteer. You, what do you say? Want to go for a ride? I'm talking to you. See ya! <laughs> Too much fun. You, get out of here. How about you, huh? Want to go into that jungle? See you later. <laughs> there you have it. Punch 400 or so, we'll call it. Bam! Ooh, that guy ricocheted off the mountain or something. One more guy. Let's see. Let's see if I can get him onto that mountain over there. I doubt it, but... I think it cleared the water. We're good. All right, there you go. The Super Punch Bow. This arrow mod is probably the closest to being acceptable in survival that you're going to see in this episode, but still pretty ridiculous. But I like this one. This is called the Arrow of XP. Nothing fancy, but you kill a mob with it. You sit back, you wait. Oh, look at this. The XP comes right to my doorstep from about 100 blocks away. Pretty useful, I'd say. And uh, if you haven't noticed, they drop quite a bit more XP, too. Arrows of XP. I think we all want them. I know you guys want them. What do you say? Order half a dozen or so? There it goes. <laughs> Arrows of XP. All right, moving on. This next one is not so much about what it's going to do to the arrow as what it's going to do to you. Now, I'll, I'll demonstrate real quick what this one's going to do here. I'm going to shoot this bow. And you're going to see, bam, it's going to shoot me back super fast. This bow has a huge kickback on it. So whenever you shoot it, shoot it, it throws you back in the opposite direction really hard. And you might be asking yourself, well, what's the point of that bow? Who wants to go flying every time I shoot at something? Well, this one is not so much about killing as it is about transportation. See ya. <laughs> as you can see, you can get some pretty good height here. Fly across the skies as long as you keep peppering it pretty good distance. It takes a little bit of skill to get used to. And uh, yeah, if you use it in survival, you probably will plummet to your death, but definitely fun to go hopping around things here. It's... <laughs> Zoom! See ya. Oh, sorry, sheep. Gotta go. Bam! There you go. Arrows of knockback. This next one, I have to apologize in advance because it's almost even too ridiculous for me. But I figure I had the idea, it was quick to implement, and it's fun. Arrows of wealth. <laughs> Whatever block you shoot turns to diamond and shoots out some 
gorgeous gems for you to scoop right up. Wouldn't you like to have a few of these in your survival worlds? Not too bad. Again, ridiculous, I know. But they're fun. Now this arrow can just downright save the day if you use it at the right time. Imagine if you will, you find yourself stuck in a wither fight that you are horribly, horribly unprepared for. Personally, I'd reach for the arrows of Polymorph. Aw, oh, Mr. Wither. Not so scary anymore, are you? <laughs> Instantly turns any enemy into a harmless sheep. New sheep. New sheep. New sheep. New sheep. Alright, this next arrow is for you fellas out there that feel like you might be a little inadequate in certain areas. And you might need to compensate for something. If so, I recommend reaching for arrows of extreme growth. Guaranteed to get all the ladies. All right, it is time to get serious. We are down to the last two here, and I've saved my favorite two to the end, and also the two deadliest. This arrow is for those of you out there that absolutely, positively need to kill everything in your path in no time flat. If that's you, reach for the arrows of rapid fire. Complete destruction at your disposal. <laughs> Love the fireworks too, they add a nice little touch. Accuracy, no longer a priority when you got these bad boys. Alright, last one, here we go. Now that last arrow was pretty impressive. I could lay down some instant death to anything in the area. Not too bad, I'd say. But let's face it. You kind of had to aim, and aiming just gets downright tedious. Am I right? Am I right? For those of you that agree, I would recommend reaching for the Arrows of Barrage. These guys are exactly what you need if you can't aim. 300 arrows, one pull of the bow. Can't go wrong with this product, let me tell you. <laughs> I love these. This idea actually came from a viewer suggestion saying something about arrows blotting out the sun and well, that's pretty much what these things do. <laughs> 300 arrows every shot. I was tweaking with the, you know, the variation in them and how much randomness and stuff and this seemed like a nice blend of just kind of spray and pray. But uh, I, I could go a little more focused. I shoot too many of these, my frame rate will die because there's a couple thousand arrows in my world right now, but love it. Absolutely love these guys. See you, pig. Ooh, little kick back there off the mountain. Couldn't handle the couldn't handle the force. Alright, that is it guys. We are done. I am done having fun with arrows. What I want you to do is let me know which arrow was your favorite. Or go ahead and suggest an arrow that you think I should have done, but I didn't. Now, I will say I purposely left off the homing, area, homing arrows because Seth Bling just did them, and I didn't want to get accused of copying him. So I left those off, so don't suggest those, but any other suggestions you have, lay them on me, and uh, maybe I'll work them into a little addendum episode or a future episode. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think, guys. All right, until next time, this is Breaking Bites. This is Tango. See you guys next time.